Hi guys, it is Nina. You are watching Fairy Chamber channel. During this October, November, this year I am going to cover some uh, harvest holidays from different parts of Europe for you to enjoy. So this video is going to be about Kalan Cave. I have special gift to all of you, my dear followers. Now you can get 20% discount on everything on my shop, fairychamber.com by using the code Fairy Chamber Folklore and this applies to all the products and all the online courses which is Harvest Festival here in Wales the whole name of Kalan Cave is Nos Kalan Cave and that literally means the night of the spirits or the spirit night Kalan Cave it was celebrated on November 1st and it was the start of the winter season there's different kinds of pagan traditions connected to Kalan Cave. One of the most important ones was the fire, the bonfires, and they were called Kokert. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And these bonfires, people placed stones around the bonfires, and the stones had the name of the person who placed the stone. And next morning, if the stone was gone, or if the name in the stone had been disappeared, that would mean that this particular person would pass away in the coming year. So it's a bit spooky tradition. This night between October 31st and then November 1st, it was the times when the, all the spirits came from the spirit world. So it was a limbo because that was a gate between summer and winter. And the Welsh word for November, Tachwet, uh, that literally means slaughter, because that was also the time period when the animal slaughtering started for that people would have meat for the winter. And some of these traditions that were a big part of Welsh uh, harvest festivals, they were taken to America by the Welsh settlers. And one of these was apple bobbing that some of you might have heard of. There was also this tradition connected to apple bobbing, which in Welsh was called Tokofala and it was believed that the person who would catch the apple first with their teeth would be the one who would get married first, of course. There was lots of divinations connected to Kalan Cave, uh, fortune telling and mumming and also many of the foods that were part of Kalan Cave had a significant symbolism in uh, folk magic and those were foods like like apples and nuts and uh, almonds. Tradition of mumming, you can find that really all over Europe, but it comes to um, winter and autumn harvest festivals. People used to wear masks to distract the spirits. It was believed that when you wear a mask, the other spirits, they would not see you because they think you are one of them, so they won't take you away to the spirit world. It's really interesting. And there was lots of performances that the people did when they wore all the masks. And there was lots of masquerades and mumming. Also here in Wales, there was tradition to give and receive soul cakes. And the soul cake tradition that probably originates from medieval France, where people used to do that in monasteries. So when you took a soul cake, you actually said a prayer to some passed away relative. And this might go back to more pagan times when people got these cakes and maybe just thought about the passed away person without any like religious context. So it's very interesting tradition. And here in Wales, the Welsh cakes, <laughs> Welsh cakes, soul cakes were really important and big part of the Kalan Cave celebration. And all houses or and all families, they prepared big stash of these soul cakes so that when poor people came, people could give them um, soul cakes. And it was believed that giving those soul cakes to those people who had not that much to eat, uh, that would bring good luck for the family for the new year. Later on, when the times changed, those soul cakes, they weren't that popular anymore and people just gave money and sweets to each other in uh, Kalan Cave. So that was the treat part. Then there was the tricking part as well. The tricking part came from that the 
people who wear those masks, they try to mimic the behavior of the spirits, the traditions and everything connected to Khan Cave that started to slowly disappear in the 17th century and in the 18th century, largely due to land enclosure and people moving to cities and not so many people working anymore in the countryside or living in the countryside. People moved into cities to find works and industrialism coming up and maybe Christianity also had something to do with that. But anyway, like in many other countries, that's how the tradition, traditional celebration of the harvest and the Night of the Spirit slowly disappeared. It, it seems to be more about Americanized Halloween at the moment. But then, of course, I know a bunch of Welsh pagans who celebrate Kalan Cave, or maybe they don't even call it Kalan Cave, but in general it's a harvest festival that people celebrate, like I do. So, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't to hear more stories around the world and cool pagan stuff. Thank you so much for watching guys and very blessed come and cave for you if you happen to celebrate it or any other harvest festivals that are about to come. So take care guys and I will see you soon. Bye bye.